On April 23, 2011, Satoshi Nakamoto sent their final message to a developer. I've moved on to other things. With those seven words, Bitcoin's creator vanished, leaving behind a trillion dollar innovation and tech's greatest mystery. This cryptic farewell launched decades of speculation. Who abandons fame and unimaginable wealth? Only someone with a carefully guarded identity. Today we're examining the most credible Satoshi candidates, from Hal Finney, recipient of the first Bitcoin transaction, to Nick Zabo, whose writings predicted Bitcoin years before its launch. We'll also explore compelling evidence about why Bitcoin's architect chose to remain in the shadows. The Genesis, Bitcoin's mysterious birth. October 31st, 2008. While the global economy crumbled and governments scrambled to bail out failing banks, someone using the name Satoshi Nakamoto quietly posted a nine-page document to a cryptography mailing list. The title was simple, Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Most subscribers ignored it. They had no idea they were witnessing the birth of a financial revolution. The white paper described a digital currency that could work without banks, governments or any central authority. At a time when institutions were collapsing, this anonymous figure offered a radical alternative. Money controlled by math, not humans. The timing was strategic. Lehman Brothers had collapsed just weeks earlier, foreclosures were skyrocketing, and public trust in financial institutions had plummeted to historic lows. Three months later, in January 2009, Satoshi released the Bitcoin software and created the first 50 Bitcoins. Hidden within this Genesis block was a message. The Times, 3rd of January 2009, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. This served as both timestamp and mission statement. Bitcoin was created as a direct response to a broken financial system. What makes Bitcoin's origin remarkable is how Satoshi solved multiple complex problems that had stumped computer scientists for decades. Digital currencies had failed before because of the double spending problem, preventing someone from copying digital money and spending it twice. Satoshi's solution was the blockchain, a public ledger as immutable as a diamond and as transparent as crystal, requiring network consensus to validate transactions. When Dan Kaminsky, one of the world's top security researchers, tried breaking Bitcoin's code in 2011, he eventually admitted, I came up with nothing. The code is too clean, too tight. A testament to the exceptional engineering behind Bitcoin's architecture. Bitcoin's 31,000 lines of code represented a breakthrough across cryptography, economics and computer science. This rare combination of expertise led many to question whether Satoshi was actually a group. Yet the consistent writing style across thousands of forum posts suggested a single author. Linguistic analysis revealed distinctive patterns, British English spellings, formal writing avoiding contractions, and activity during UK Eastern US hours. These digital breadcrumbs narrowed the search without leading to definitive identification. And communications between Satoshi and early developers showed remarkable foresight. The code contained solutions for problems that wouldn't emerge for years, demonstrating planning that suggested deep expertise. As the first users began mining bitcoins, they participated in something historic. The value was effectively zero. Nobody could have predicted this experiment would eventually be worth billions. Then, as bitcoin gained traction, Satoshi vanished. In April 2011, after emailing a developer that they had moved on to other things, they handed control to Gavin Anderson and disappeared leaving behind a digital transformation that continues to reshape our understanding of money. The Prime Suspects Following the digital breadcrumbs What kind of person creates a trillion dollar currency, then walks away without claiming fame or fortune? The hunt for Satoshi has produced several promising suspects, each with compelling evidence pointing to their identity. The Bitcoin creator might be among us, hiding in plain sight, or perhaps they're no longer alive to tell their story. Hal Finney emerges as a compelling Satoshi candidate with his unique position in Bitcoin's history. As a respected cryptographer who spent decades working on cryptographic systems at PGP Corporation, Finney possessed the exact technical expertise required for Bitcoin's creation. Remarkably, he was the first person to receive a Bitcoin transaction from Satoshi, 
while living in the same small California town as Dorian Nakamoto, mistakenly identified as Satoshi, by Newsweek in 2014. Writing analysis by Juola and Associates revealed distinctive patterns in Finney's writing. His frequent use of phrases like computationally impractical and distributed timestamp server that matched Satoshi's more closely than other suspects. As an early cypherpunk advocating privacy through cryptography, Finney shared Bitcoin's ideological foundation, yet consistently denied being Satoshi until his death from ALS in 2014. Nick Zabo presents an equally strong case through different evidence channels. This computer scientist with legal background created BitGold in 1998, a system strikingly similar to Bitcoin in its use of proof of work, digital scarcity creation, and replacement of trust with cryptographic verification. Suspiciously, Zabo stopped writing about BitGold immediately before Bitcoin appeared, then resumed discussing his ideas after Satoshi disappeared. Aston University researchers found telling linguistic overlaps, including unique phraseology like trusted third parties and unforgeable costliness, appearing identically in both their works, concluding the linguistic similarities between Zabo's writing and the Bitcoin paper is uncanny. Weidai, creator of B Money, cited in the Bitcoin white paper, represents another possibility. Though linguistic comparisons showed weaker alignment with Satoshi's writing style than Finney or Zabo. Swiss engineer Stefan Thomas uncovered timing evidence by tracking Satoshi's forum activities, revealing consistent absence between 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. GMT even on weekends. This sleep pattern suggests someone based in either the UK or Eastern United States functioning like a digital fingerprint narrowing potential candidates. Satoshi's operational security measures, anonymous emails, Tor network usage, and careful identity separation reveal a creator who understood that anonymity wasn't merely personal protection, but Bitcoin's essential infrastructure. Like a foundation hidden beneath a skyscraper, Satoshi's anonymity provides invisible but critical support. A truly decentralized currency required no central creator to target, pressure, or co-opt. By vanishing, Satoshi completed their masterpiece, ensuring Bitcoin would stand independently of its creator. The false claims and new theories. What drives someone to falsely claim they invented a trillion dollar technology, knowing they'll face the scrutiny of the world's best cryptographers and computer scientists? The answer lies somewhere between fame, fortune, and a strange form of digital immortality. Several individuals have stepped forward declaring themselves to be Satoshi Nakamoto, but none have provided the one thing that would instantly prove their case. The quest to identify Bitcoin's creator resembles a high-stakes detective story where each false lead only deepens the mystery. Craig Wright, an Australian computer scientist, announced himself as Bitcoin's creator in 2016, initially convincing respected figures like developer Gavin Anderson. His claim quickly unraveled when he failed to provide a cryptographic signature with Satoshi's private keys, essentially the master key to Bitcoin that only its creator would possess. Bitcoin developer Peter Todd noted that Wright's supposed cryptographic proof actually contained nothing of the sort. While security researcher Dan Kaminsky concluded Wright's claim was intentional scammery. The final blow came in March 2024, when Judge James Mellor ruled that Wright was not Satoshi Nakamoto, stating the evidence against him was overwhelming and that Wright had repeatedly lied to the court with forged documents. False Satoshi claims have created real-world victims. When Newsweek published a cover story identifying Dorian Nakamoto, a retired engineer in California, as Bitcoin's creator, media vultures descended. Reporters camped outside his house and pursued him by car when he attempted to leave. Dorian repeatedly denied any connection to Bitcoin, explaining he had never heard of it before. The mystery continues to attract new theories. Some researchers point to Chainlink founder Sergei Nazarov, registering smartcontract.com before the Bitcoin white paper was published. Even HBO's documentary Money Electric proposed Bitcoin developer Peter Todd was Satoshi based on a misinterpreted chat message, a theory Todd dismissed as ludicrous. As individual claims collapse under scrutiny, collective authorship theories have gained traction. The Financial Times suggested Hal Finney, Nick Zabo and Adam Back might have formed a development team behind Bitcoin, combining the necessary expertise in cryptography, economics and computer science. Why have all Satoshi claims failed? 
The creator implemented sophisticated privacy measures from the beginning, using Tor networks, multiple email addresses, and never reusing passwords across services. This careful operational security shows someone who understood the importance of remaining anonymous. The continuing mystery may be by design. By disappearing, Satoshi ensured Bitcoin would become truly decentralized, with no single person to target. There would be no founder pressured by governments, no leader whose arrest could crash the market, no authority figure whose words could sway its future. In creating a currency beyond control of any single entity and then vanishing, Satoshi executed the final, crucial step in Bitcoin's design, ensuring it would forever belong to everyone and no one. 13 years after Bitcoin's creation, the identity of Satoshi Nakamoto remains crypto's greatest mystery. This anonymity isn't a flaw. It's Bitcoin's final protection. As Bitcoin podcaster Natalie Brunel noted, by concealing his true identity, Satoshi ensured that Bitcoin wouldn't have a leader or central figure whose personal agenda could influence the protocol. From nearly worthless to a $1.4 trillion market cap and over $102,000 per coin in 2025, Bitcoin has lived on without its creator. Like an unsolved mystery inspiring generations, Satoshi's disappearance, whether Finney, Zabo, or someone else entirely, freed Bitcoin to become truly decentralized. What matters most isn't who Satoshi was, but how their anonymity empowered Bitcoin's future.